<laughs> this is example of a chart of a girl. This is a chart of a girl who gets into relationship problems, but that is because of her ego problems. And there are no other problems. You see here, moon is exalted in the lagna and it's the third lord also and as i said jupiter sun are again in exalt i mean jupiter is exalted it's in cancer and venus is placed in a fire sign here again another warning <laughs> venus in fire sign <laughs> especially sag may not be that dangerous but leo and aries are definitely to some extent critical signs so now here you see mars and venus are conjunct and Mercury is also there. So Mars is aspecting the seventh house. This is one of the Mangli positions. Mars in the fourth. But this person is like she says, uh, I cannot stay without company of somebody. <laughs> she says, if I hear the word single, I will die. <laughs> so she's like, oh, I will. My partner will only listen to me. He will only do what I want. But if he says I will not do, I will stay with him. <laughs> <laughs> because the idea of staying without somebody exalted moon in the lagna is like death for this girl <laughs> so this girl is like oh i want the relationship to be my way but if it still doesn't i will still stay <laughs> now the planets in fire signs will give that trait but Eventually, you see, because of these other placements like Jupiter in Cancer and Jupiter is also aspecting the seventh house. So she, although she gets very angry and irritated, but she has this power to forgive anybody, even her friends or anybody. I mean, it aspects the eleventh house also, and it is a very powerful aspect because it is exalted. And then you also have this, you know, Mercury, Venus, and Mars. So basically, what is the nature of this girl? She is very talkative. She is very flamboyant, but internally she has this nature. You know, I, I will only make others do what I want. <laughs> so you stay with her externally. She will be like, oh, yes, you want to go here? Yeah, 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 we will go there. <laughs> but you get a bit close to her as a friend or either ways, then she will be like, oh, why are you going to this place? I want to go here. We will go there. <laughs> So here the Manglik Dosh is uh, to some extent working, to a large extent, and there has been quite many quarrels and fights. But again, because of these other placements, somehow the relationship sustains. So just because uh, the person is Manglik, you say that your relationships will not work. It is not necessary. <laughs> now the last chart. Ah. <laughs> This is these uh, these these two charts are very similar. You see, these are both are ninety one charts, and the other one is of August, and this chart is of July. So you see, uh, Jupiter is exalted, and Sun is here in Gemini because it's July chart, beginning of July. So now again, Venus in Lagna. <laughs> Venus in Lagna means I always want to be surrounded with the opposite sex. Somehow or the other, that always keeps happening. Okay. And now you see here, Mars is in the 12th house, which is a Manglik placement. There's no doubt on it. But it is debilitated and it is also in a water sign. Again, you see Moon is again in a water sign. So this girl, she's a very soft-natured girl. She has that bossy nature because it's a Leo Lagna. <laughs> but inherently, she is very soft nature and she's always thinking because Venus is in Magha Nakshatra. She's always thinking, Am I looking the best in the party? <laughs> I will, I want to look the best. I don't care who is there, what is there, even if there is nobody, I still want to look the best. So that is like, that's like a too much of an obsession, you see. <laughs> So that can sometimes uh, give uh, rise to things like, you, oh, you are dressing too much, you are spending too much time. You are The other person can sometimes feel that you are trying to attract somebody else, or some other man. So these kind of problems can be there. But because of placements like uh, Cancer and Pisces, as I said earlier, 
this dosha although it is there but again it is not it is not very much acting this person has had some problems in relationship but now she is completely fine i guess so again as i said at the end of the last video that you have to check the dasha also which the person is running okay so maybe in such cases if the mars dasha is active mars dasha comes then you might be in uh, trouble but i don't think the mars dasha is coming because she is born in nakshatra of uttar bhadrapada that means her vimshottariya started from saturn saturn then mercury then ketu then venus then sun then moon then mars <laughs> Mars is the seventh Mahadasha which is there, so it is not there in line. <laughs> God willing, she survives till then, but I don't think at the peak of her youth or during her thirties, forties, it is there. So this dosha, although it is there, but it is not, it's, it's not causing any harm to her. I see, and this is one person who, if you meet, you will not feel as if they might have this dosh. Manglik people I have seen generally, if you meet them, you get a feeling. Or people with sun in the first house. Again, as I said, sun is no less than Mars. <laughs> in fact, I have seen sometimes sun is more of a difficult placement. Surya in the first house, then Mars in the first house. So that's what I will conclude with. You have to see the whole chart. And here, as you can see this chart, the Lagna Lord is placed in the 11th house. This person is very committed to her word. Once she says something, she will be like, oh, I will do it. And the 10th Lord is also in Lagna. She's also very workaholic. She's also a doctor. She's obsessed with work and all these things. She just wants one thing. She wants to look good. That is why she's living. <laughs> you say anything bad about the appearance, she'll never forget. <laughs> Not even bad. You just go side. <laughs> you are dead. You're finished. <laughs> and you just say good about that. That's it. You are... She's like a best friend. <laughs> I can't uh, hear you. It's mute, I think. I, I said you can't uh, you can't uh, uh, say like that to any girl, I, I guess. <laughs> you, you can't. Especially to this girl, I think. <laughs> and third lord Venus is also in Lagna. So you saw this chart also. Yeah. Third lord is moon. It is again in the Lagna. So I've seen if third house is prominently linked with some important houses like Lagna or moon, then also the person is like, oh, I want to dress good. I want to look good. Uh, those things can be there. So that is what uh, I will say. I will stop the share. Yeah. So that is what I would like to say. I gave some examples to demonstrate. And my apologies. I could not take non-Manglik charts. <laughs> because no, you, you uh, I thought... Uh, any remedies, Babajit, if somebody comes for... Uh like with the dosha and you know like do you think what do you what do you think about the remedial part yeah remedies are there see the biggest remedy for mars is now i'll speak on this from the mahabharat there, there's this story of bhim who could not fast on ekadashis so if mars is mars is very strong in somebody's chart the fire inside is so so strong it burns off everything food whatever goes inside is burnt off totally and these people are very energetic and very much they're very much ready to do anything in life so then he went to Maharishi Vyas who has written all the scriptures and he said to Vyas there that <laughs> I can do anything in That's life fantastic. just don't tell me to fast you tell me to break mountains kill demons I will do anything <laughs> Right. I cannot fast. It is impossible. So, one of the symptoms of a Mars which can cause troubles is a person has difficulties in fasting. That is one of the symptoms. So, if you can try to fast, it is very good, especially on Tuesdays. Or if this is causing problems, then on Fridays, you can try to fast. Or another option is you try to fast on Saturdays. Because Saturn is one planet which has the power to discipline Mars. Because Mars gets exalted in Capricorn. So you can, or if you see that there are planets sitting in the 7th house, that will depend on the individual chart. But this is a general remedy I am saying. Right. You, can select, you can select one day 
if it is if it is causing you problems generally for example like you are too much hot headed then it is very good if you can do on tuesdays or if you feel that it is causing you troubles only in marriage then you can do it on fridays or if you want to do you can do on saturdays now some people they say we are working on monday uh, sorry tuesdays and fridays we cannot then we need to we can at least fast on saturdays and fasting in saturdays is generally good also because saturn is also the karaka for austerity you see yeah so that is one, I, I, I guess then, yeah yeah continue, continue because see we 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 need not study planets in isolation we have to study them as a part of our inner nature so you will automatically realize even if a person is in america or australia they don't know anything about vedic scriptures or anything about astrology they don't have any knowledge on manglik nothing they know and nothing. suppose that person is a manglik <laughs> then you will always see like when i do complete fasting on pandav nirjal ekadashi which comes once in a year which vyas dev said no this ekadashi you are fasting forget other ekadashi <laughs> <laughs> then the next day morning you see how your situation is <laughs> because when you are fasting what, because when you are fasting what happens you all all your senses become weak because mars is what basically mars is that force says no you will do anything you will you will be like you will break the stone you will, you will do whatever you want so when your senses become weak as they say in the scriptures na they uh when the mind is controlled uh, the senses are like the tortoise so when the tortoise is there you have seen when there's a danger it will withdraw the hands and legs and it will go inside the shell, the shell. and you try to break you use a hammer but you cannot hit the tortoise so whenever there is a situation which aggravates you externally suppose somebody has scolded you insulted you blasphemed you criticized you <laughs> so then when uh, the our inner consciousness is not very developed we go to the other extreme oh tu na aisa bola main dekh kya karta hu but if we can uh, if we can become like a tortoise that we withdraw our senses and for that uh, maintaining because see, mars is what basically mars is tamogun basically right it gives you anger anger is a product of tamoguna basically so to channelize tamoguna properly we should ensure we have a good sleep in the night that is very important because if you do not sleep cortisol is not balanced and cortisol is a hormone which yeah. is directly linked to your anger and your frustration your irritation it's linked to adrenaline the gland which is like oh there's some problem get up <laughs> so whenever you see a snake or anything fearful your body secretes adrenaline like anything so that's what happens when you get angry right when somebody says something you you are like oh, i have i've lost it completely i will rip him apart now why because your body is secreting too much adrenaline your body is convinced that the world around is going to going to be destroyed if you do not fight with the person that is why you fight right otherwise you can just withdraw and stay inside yourself so one big uh, remedy for these mangli people is they should sleep properly on time in the night instead of i me suggesting things go to banaras and throw a banana in the river ganga go to go to kanchipuram and throw this throw that have you seen in india in uh, people what they do any anything problem is there oh go to the ganga and throw this you know <laughs> just go Please to the think. ganga and throw this <laughs> you feed crows pigeons my god that's what i was telling in one of my videos <laughs> you will do everything except that which you should do the practical I mean, how thing. in the universe how in the universe is going to feeding is feeding a pigeon going to calm down your anger how how is it going to happen it is all the myths <laughs> you feed the pigeon through all the myths you feed everybody point. yeah but at the same time you have to uh, do and then proper meditation is very important <laughs> if you are meditating then what happens your sattva guna is in increasing right your mode of goodness is increasing yes and when you are reading the scriptures when you are reading the scriptures you will have the right intelligence you will know how great personalities have behaved in the past like i was giving example of draupadi and we have uh, example of dhruva maharaj prithu maharaj so many great personalities are there so when you are reading about them your jupiter is naturally getting better and better and better so then you are more accommodated because jupiter is what akash tatva right 
Akash Tattwa is one sure. which says everybody stay here. It's like a roof. So, so then you will give up this tendency of staying independently from somebody, staying separate from somebody. So that is why when a person is a Brahmachari, <coughs> when he's not married, then the person is uh, ideally in the scriptures of Brahmacharya, it is mentioned that the person should uh, fast very frequently because then your senses are naturally under control. And when you are doing spiritual practices in general, then you're by nature very happy. That is one of the symptoms. And when you are very happy, you will naturally see, suppose you have got a very but good some, meal. Some so. people feel happy only after eating good food. So <laughs> it is like another, we are not able to balance. That means like fasting and then, you know, not satisfying the other senses. Yeah, and think, eating uh, too many Rajasik food. Actually, see, uh, yes. it is like a whole Rajasik lifestyle. Foods, thing. Yes, you can say that, you know, if you can't fast, at least switch one or two days in a week to Sattvic foods, you know, like if you are unable yes, to yes. fast. Yes, and sattvic food, whenever I say people will be like, oh, you are saying we have to eat boiled vegetables. It's not boiled vegetables. No. Normal food which you have, like you take rice, dal, sabji, chapati, that is good. You can avoid things like red chili powder. That's very dangerous. Yeah. That oh, you can avoid. Yeah, to, instead of oil, you can take ghee. That is very good. Then taking too much of this also causes problem, you know, saffron. Too much of saffron, mixing it too much with milk, that, that is also not very good. That strong scent or anything which agitates your mind like rose, that is also one thing. People take all this nine milk, they will take in a rose syrup and all this. <laughs> if you take too much, that can also create some problem. Haldi is one thing which you can take actually. Haldi with milk, that is very good. That is Jupiter. Yeah, so, yeah, so sleep, uh, fasting is one thing then sleeping sleep is very important just don't sleep properly and next day morning you see you get a bad message and then that's it end of the story you go and you are like i will kill this person yes so absolutely. sleep is very important and eating sattvic foods meditation these are the things which you have to do so if somebody is thinking i will get rid of mangal dosh by doing some mangal puja I'll spend 1 lakh rupees. You'll see so many mails which people tell. The other day somebody was telling me they spent 90,000 rupees and they did Mangal Graha Shanti. <laughs> and then later on they are saying our marriage has come to a state where we want to divorce or anything like that. I said, no, it doesn't work. Or you wear that no, red color, what this stone no, they say. In Asmik yeah. they call it Prabal or I don't know whatever they say in Hindi. So you do everything of those sort. You go and give donations. You feed clothes, pigeons. You go to Banaras. You throw anything anywhere. It is <laughs> not going to. I am directly giving the disclaimer. Nothing of that will work unless you do all these things. You do all these things. You change internally as a person, and then you can, <laughs> you can feed whoever, how much ever you want. Then your karma related to Mars will improve. Yes. But internally, first you have to transform yourself. And the biggest remedy for Mangal Dosh, I would say, reading of the scriptures. Right. Because basically what Mars is, Mars is ego, right? To be very honest. So when you understand how great God is, you will realize how insignificant you are. So they say that anger is a symptom of lust, actually. Hmm. That is why you cannot treat anger. <laughs> because it's not the problem, you see. People will try to treat anger, but they cannot treat because anger is a reflection of something else. When does a person get angry? When their desire is not fulfilled. <laughs> yeah. You want to eat strawberry ice cream and then the shopkeeper says the shop is closed. <laughs> so you get angry. So the problem is that's what Krishna says. Na? Kama todo bijayate. That kama, that desire for material enjoyment, that's the root cause. That that That's like the base. And Krishna says, when kama is unfulfilled, it turns into anger. And when anger is gone beyond reach, it becomes wrath. People doing murders, people commit crimes like rape. Nowadays, all this Me Too movement, so many things are coming. These are what basically? Products of unfulfilled desire, right? True. True. <laughs> desire is not getting fulfilled. So you are grabbing the hand of somebody. You are trying to enjoy them, abuse them, use them. All these are basically... So when you uh, find happiness in uh, doing spiritual activities, then your mind is naturally calm and then you are like, no problem. <laughs> Even if there's no strawberry, I'll eat vanilla today. 
<laughs> or maybe I'll go without it. Yeah, I can just take some water. I'll be very fine. Yeah. <laughs> that is all I will say. That's wonderful. Yeah. So, what else? Any comments from your side? <laughs> no, it was amazing. It was excellent, and the charts were really good. They were um, well explained, and uh, I just, I just feel that you know. Mangal dosh is a very, you know, it's a dreaded dosha, you know, but I think people are changing, people are getting aware, they know that this is like, uh, not uh, just one dosha doesn't even, you know, like, maybe due to YouTube, or maybe more of awareness, due to Google and all people are getting educated, the ones who are still backwards, they will definitely not be coming to us or watching YouTube, they will be definitely going to the Panditji's and all still. And they will be still, you know, falling prey to the Mangal dosha and still going through the uh, remedies of those sorts, which you mentioned, 90,000 bucks. And then, you know, they're throwing up money on eradicating the dosha. They think that it is going to get eradicated, which is again a myth. But definitely Mangal dosha, what you mentioned rightly, you know, uh, that it is, it is something that one has to see the whole chart in totality. What exactly? We cannot just see the Mangal placement in the chart. We have to see the strength of Mangal. If it is definitely aspected by Saturn from the seventh, probably, you know, if uh, Mangal is in the Lagna, as you said, and there was one chart and Saturn was also aspecting. So it is, uh, as it is cut, cutting down the, you know, c controlling the dosha, you know, it is one fa major factor. If Saturn is aspecting or is conjunct or uh, in, when, in any which ways, you know, Saturn is connected to Mars. So um, uh, that's an example. One example that you know, Mangal dosha is not prevalent in all the charts. I think we have uh, Mangal dosha has to be seen from Moon. We have to see from Mangal. We have to see from Venus. So it's approximately eighty to ninety percent of people will be having Mangalic dosha, you know, in their chart. So it is practically not. It is practically not possible to marry a Mang Mangalic person, you know, who has this dosha and then not get into the trouble, as you rightly said. People who have Manglik dosha and still they are uh, having a um, smooth sail in their marriage, and people who are not having a Manglik dosha, they are also, you know, having troubles in their marriage. So it is, it is something which you know people should wake up with. You know, I always tell people to be aware. That is why we people like us, uh, Baba Jeetni, you know, we are here to help you all uh, through our videos, conveying such things only that you know the. Uh, superstitious uh, nature of yours can be you know subsided because of these watching these videos at least they should uh, come into this uh, you know at, at least this kind of uh, uh, you know uh, knowledge should be there with I think every normal human being on this earth whosoever is following astrology yeah and one last thing I wanted to share is yeah your Mars is affecting the house of marriage or not marriages i mean mm. the houses of marriage i mean but mars will always sit somewhere <laughs> yeah definitely everybody has a mars Every mars is basically sit, yeah. what tamogun basically right the yes. mode of tamas which makes you angry kill violence or everything like that the other day when we were doing the carnival we were saying yeah, yeah and another big thing my god this i forgot to say giving up meat this is one of the biggest remedies because you are not partaking in violence because when you are because they say that uh, if you are eating meat it's like indirectly you are saying it's okay that you are killing somebody so it's like you may not directly but at the end of the day you are endorsing killing so if you are endorsing violence in one area that that will manifest back in your life in some area in some area, it will happen. That that's basically negligence. It, it's like you will not like if somebody comes and beats you. <laughs> somebody comes and kills you. My God! If somebody says a word, you are like, oh, I'll finish this person. Imagine if somebody takes your throat and the person is chopping you right away. Yeah, I so I, I, more, I I like, I feel that killing an ant and killing a chicken is one and the same thing. So for me, it's like a same thing because it's a soul yeah, that's going out. So yeah, whatever, it's like you are. Yes, you are, you are, uh, you, it's like, you know, that is wrong, but you are still like, have you, I've seen many people who eat meat. They're like, I tell them, oh, suppose I tell them, why are you eating or you know, all this? Then they say, yeah, I know, but leave it, I'm eating. <laughs> so it's like negligence, you see. So that negligence reflects in some other area also. Like 
uh, they should work but they are sitting and uh, doing things in internet or you know they should go home they are going and taking alcohol or, or anything like that now i am not saying that if you take meat you are not a good person i am not saying that but i am saying that if you are uh, being negligent in one area of your life you you will also be likely negligent in some other area because that will manifest and that violence will also come back to you because there's a word in scriptures which says mamsa mamsa means uh, it's ideally in uh, vedic scriptures when you are killing an animal it is said you are supposed to kill the animal yourself so and before you kill the animal you have to go to his ears and you have to say mamsa which okay. means in this life i am killing you for my tongue's pleasure and in next life i give you the right i give you the authority i am empowering you that you kill me yeah. in the next life right so that right. that is what uh, is there so you see so if you are indulging in violence directly or indirectly like uh, one day one of my <laughs> relatives she told me this was a year 2010 i guess that oh actually she was talking of this kfc chicken you know so she was ta- telling that actually i am not killing the chicken you see i am just going and eating actually <laughs> so the chicken is already killed so why should i get karma for eating so then i went to one of my gurus and asked then i said oh she she smashed me by saying like this i could not argue with her please tell me what should i say then he he just had a good laugh and he said no it's not like this scripture say that whoever indulges in this the sin gets divided into six parts one who kills one who transfers one who sees one who sees the killing can you imagine one who eats one who transports one who pays for that and one who buys one who sponsors the killing and one who purchases so your relative will get karma don't worry <laughs> we are we are as it is killing everybody these days i feel so i don't want to comment on this we are killing the veggies also vegetables also everybody everything has a life you know i feel so i don't want to because see it's it's nothing to do with any personal opinion or i am ha- having it or i'm not having it it's something that i don't want to share on the public media but yes it is everybody else everybody has their karma everybody has their choices to make and they are all sensible enough to do so so and obviously nowadays people are getting into uh, the awareness of uh, going uh, vegetarian completely you know so Lucky there, let's leave it on to them but yes as a remedy yes we can always tell them that uh, switch to satvik food in once or twice in a week if you can that will be helpful for them for their own health so that is uh, and of course uh taming mars <laughs> so thanks baba ji thanks so much for a great insight on mangal dosh and definitely i i am sure everybody must uh, have got enlightened today that what exactly is uh, happening in their lives uh, whatever the myth they have about mangal dosh <laughs> thank you so much for coming over to vl astrology and uh, would love to have you over again soon sometime yes, thank, thank you very much thank you, thank you and stay blessed everyone om sat yeah namaste namaste